Hi, this is my dear friend, uh, Sandra Palmer. Sandra, if you don't know her history, you should. Uh, if you're a golf buff, you do. Sandra has won uh, U.S. Open, Golf Magazine Player of the Year, 1974. Mm, five. <laughs> 75. 75. 70, 75. And 31 events worldwide with Dinosaur, um, LPGA Major, 25 straight cuts, won the Dinosaur, among all of her other credits. So it's great to have you, Sandra. Uh, Sandra has worked with me uh, for quite a while. We worked together here. And uh, you've done your back exercise today? Yes. Okay. And she has a yardstick down with her numbers marked, but what we're going to look at is her power angle and show you how that works. So, Sandra, if you could just rotate your palms out and just tell me look. I've centered the bubble on this, and it's showing Sandra is at uh, 160. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, and uh, Sandra, I'm going to grab this weight. Now, if you want to set your power angle, we have uh, a dowel pole and a 10-pound weight, but if you want to set it, a weight across your chest will set it absolutely perfectly. Now, what Sandra's going to do is she's going to determine which stance width that she's been given is the best for her rotation. So, so let's keep you narrow for just a second. Uh, even actually go down to three. Right? Okay, and uh, go ahead and uh, let's see what we have in the way of rotation back from there. Try and work to keep your head still. A little tough? Yeah. It's a little tighter in that position, yes. but this fits. Okay, let's go one wider. So when you have your, your stance width measurements, this is how you want to check to see which is the best width. You, you'll find you have one position where you have great rotation and not a lot of restriction in any location. And still a little tightness in your neck. I think you're one wider. I think, uh, actually, yeah, right there. I think this might be uh, a little easier. Hips turn a lot easier. Yeah, hips rotate a lot easier. And I've had students tell me that from narrower stance ways, their hips feel like they're wrong. So, Sandra, would you rotate to the side now, facing this way, so we can show them your angles down the line? So if you go this way, and set up. That's okay. Let's back you up a little bit. Okay, now when Sandra turns to the side, and she adds the, yeah, go ahead and go to your width where it felt pretty comfortable. When Sandra goes to the side, we look at her angles, you can see how a weight will naturally set your power angle. She's in absolutely perfect position. You want to drop your right shoulder a little bit, Sandra, and bump that left tip out and rotate it. And you can see from here what great rotation Sandra has. Do me a favor, Sandra, and bend a little more forward from the spine, where we see a lot of our students. Again, I'll rotate back and hold that knee flat. What happened? You're stuck. I'm stuck. Yeah. So, anytime you get out of your personal angle, you are going to get stuck. So your power angle, it's different for all of us. I have, for example, eight degrees greater uh, spine tilt and knee flex than Sandra. I wonder. I feel pretty good? Feels great. Feels great. Good. Okay. We'll show you now what happens with too much spine tilt. Well, yeah, let's go back to what feels proper. Okay, now when you find your shoulder tilt and you bump that hip, notice how Sandra has gone. This bubble over here now is centered. Her shoulder angle is her uh, is 160, which is her number, 160 degrees. And go ahead and uh, see if you can hold your head still, Sandra, and rotate back. Notice how quiet the rest of her body is. When you're in your power angle, it frees up everything, and you, you're able to hold the flex on the right side. You, that's great. And go ahead and back to the center. And now give me too much tilt if you would. And again, if you have too much spine tilt, although your knee flex may be perfect, let's see what we do. And you can see how stuck and how quickly Sandra gets stuck. Work up quickly. The hands will work as the shoulders stop. There you go. A lot of people are too upright. A lot of people, well, stand too tall now. Let's see what you get. Yeah, you get anytime Sandra gets out of her angles, She's going to have restriction in rotation. 
So if you follow the online guide to determine your fire angle, the easiest way is to get a heavy weight, put it across your chest, in your stance, in your balance stance, and you'll see right away how easy it is. The big key, though, we asked Sandra this earlier, you have to do the core exercise before you start this. Otherwise, tightness in the core will restrict your rotation either in the backswing. Back with Sandra Palmer, we're just talking about this digital angle being, she said, is a handy tool, but you know, if you'll follow the directions online with a mirror, it is more accurate than this digital angle. And I'll show you how to set your mirror too. But if I stand, feet together, that goes down my forearm. My angle is 152. Is that bubble starting to center up there, Sandra? Okay, so I'm getting 152. When I take this weight across my chest, well, let's go this way first. If you just show show them my uh, spine angle and my knee flex once I get in here. Knee flex 90 degrees to the ground. 90, is that it? And my spine angle then. There you go. That's perfect. That it? Looking good? Yeah, that just goes right down my spine and uh, the bubble the bubble will center on this at the bottom. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, and from here, if I start to rotate back, I have now 100%. I can stay in my angles. I've held the flex on the right side. And I, look how much rotation I have. And if, I, if I'm working the whole, keep my head quiet, I'm in great shape here. I narrow to one of my other narrower stance width positions. I get set, my head wants to move at this point. So you have a point in your setup where your head position will stay very quiet over the ball in your rotation if you have your angle set. And I cannot say enough how important it is to understand that the core exercises that we have online, if you don't do those before you do this, you're introducing another variable. So when I'm here, Sandra, would you tell me when I have the right shoulder tilt? Is that it? How about right there? I didn't do anything good enough. Okay, now when I rotate back from here, I use the bar here. And you can see how level that bar stays and how easy it is for me to hold my head position here. If I were to go out in my baseball stance, let's see. Now when I find this position, you'll see that the angles start to show up in a lot of other places. But I still, from this position, have great rotation. If I go into a position that's out of balance, I'm stuck. So your stance width, setting your angles, doing your core exercise, all of these go hand in hand with having a great setup with maximum rotation and maximum power. Sandra, thank you so much. Great to have you.